Yes. Hello, everybody. It is a beautiful Wednesday <clears throat> afternoon in San Francisco. I am enjoying the king of all candies, the Haribo berries. They come in black and red. Uh, in New Zealand and Australia, I believe they call these wine gums, which is sounds like a condition you can get. But they are my favorite candy of all candies. I mean, yeah, Haribo. I can't stand gummy bears. It's the wrong kind of chew for me, but the berries, mm, yielding and terrific. But that's not why you tuned in to hear my thoughts on candy. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm doing some Q&As today from, um, from some tested patrons. Um, and we have some lovely questions here. This question I'm going to answer here is from Angie Ferry. Uh, using an old style spelling of fairy, F-A-E-R-I-E. -E. I, it always feels sort of, the w onomatopoeia is when a word sounds like what it's describing, like clunk uh, or whoosh, right? But fairy, F-A-E-R-I-E, -E, is almost like visually onomatopoeic to me, like it looks like a fairy, like a, like a, like a mythical fairy. Anyway, Angie Ferry says, <clears throat> I see you using your tattoo to measure things quickly all the time. Now that would be, oh, I, it's, <laughs> it's so hard to hold it up to camera, actually. That is something I didn't think. This is my tattoo. This is inches and centimeters. Um, and she, I'm assuming she, that's, you know. Anyway, Angie Ferry wants to know, um, as a person with many tattoos, I find this practical tattoo such a great idea. Yeah, me too. Um, what, has it come in the most handy for you or has it saved you at any point? Saved me, no. There hasn't been a mission critical operation in which I needed to know the measurement of something in situ that this uh, yielded for me. But, um, my joke when I was thinking about making it is I'll be using it for plumbing parts. And that is absolutely something it is fantastic for, right? Like people are like, how accurate is it? Hold on, let me take my watch off. They're like, how accurate is it? Everyone wants to ask. And they're like, <clears throat> you know, your skin will stretch over. I've heard it all. Um, the fact is I'm already uh, breathing down the neck of 55 years old. Um, there's only so, so much more deterioration that's going to happen. I, I, I plan to stay this weight. Uh, I, actually made the, uh, I actually made the ruler accurate that way instead of just that, like I, uh, with a tiny bit of stretch in it because I thought that's something that I can correct for over time. Um, but this is never... Okay, two things. One is it was never for high degrees of like crazy accuracy. It was mostly for like, oh, how big is this circle? Uh, it is three, one, two, and 2.75 inches ID. And like, again, for plumbing parts where, you know, I know I need that, you know, either a, uh, sorry. For plumbing parts where I know that I need like, you know, these are gross measurements, right? They, you, you don't have fine increments. It's either a two inch ID pipe or a three inch ID pipe or a two and a half, right? Like that's what this is perfect for. Um, but uh, your question is also sort of asking, like, has there been any use that has surprised me? And the answer is yes. Uh, I do a lot of my ideating about props that I want to build and research for pieces of props that I want to build on airplanes and late at night. <clears throat> and on airplanes and, and also late at night, I am not going to have a ruler handy. And I need one all the time when I'm when I'm doing something like, look, let's say I print up uh, the Aldo Reigns knife from Inglorious Bastards full size and I want to know how much brass I might need for this. Yeah, I can figure that out in Photoshop. It's true. Um, but if this is what I've got as a reference material, I can just hold it up and be like, oh, okay, yeah, it needs to be at least two inches wide for the ferrule there. Um, or if I'm ordering some buttons on Amazon for a project I'm going to do a few days hence, and I want to make sure that they are close to dimension. What I found is in the past, guessing at dimensions has tended to be a, uh, a hit or miss proposition. And having this at my disposal has removed that guesswork. 
So I can now look at something and be like, okay, how big should it be actually? And I, I, I literally use this for ideation sizing within reason, you know? Um, now I've said that it's not crazy accurate. However, I recently, let me grab a piece of plastic. So this is styrene. This is a piece of white styrene. This is one of my bread and butter building blocks here in the cave. And I have, I haven't bought styrene in a long time because like 15 years ago, I bought a couple of four by eight sheets of it. I cut it down into, I think 12 by 16, which is the size of my vacuum former. And I still have some pieces of those batches left. And I bought that in, I bought the styrene back then in two thicknesses. One was 40 thousandths of an inch thick, one millimeter, and the other was 60 thousandths of an inch thick, or one and a half millimeters. Um, <clears throat> so recently I pulled some of this plastic out of a, um, ah, yes, I did just call. Hold on just a second. Okay, where were we? Right, styrene. Like I said, I bought two different thicknesses of styrene, some in 40 thou and some in 60 thou, one millimeter, one and a half millimeter. And I pulled some out of the shelf a few weeks ago and I was wondering to myself, oh, and I saw this edge and I thought, it's been a long time since I've looked at this stuff. Is that 40 thou or 60 thou? And then I realized, well, again, 40 thou is one millimeter. So if 40 thou, if it's 40 thou, then it should be easily divisible into five of any one of these squares, each one of which is five by five millimeters. And I looked at it like this, and I thought, no, not divisible by five. Ergo, it must be 60 thou. So, that is why I like to say that my tattoo is accurate, plus or minus 20 thousandths of an inch, or half a millimeter. Uh, yeah, that's a slight exaggeration, but you get the point. Um, yeah, the most surprising aspect for me about using this is not at the hardware store, although it's great, and not even sorting nuts and bolts out of my logjam into the sorters, which is also great. It is that ideation when I am not near a ruler and I don't, I, I, I need to understand how something I might purchase is going to fit to something I've got in my head, and this helps me bridge that gap. Um, I didn't expect that when I, when I had this tattoo made. I was just thinking about making my body more useful than it already is and uh, achievement unlocked. Thank you so much for that awesome question. Uh, tested patrons, keep submitting your questions and I'll keep answering them. Uh, how to do that and how to become a tested patron if you want to support us further is in the, uh, in the description. See you guys next time. Peace.